New at 11 surveillance video from inside the Shively Animal Clinic showing what became a deadly confrontation. It comes after a Jefferson County grand jury rules no charges in the case, saying the female customer acted in self-defense when she shot clinic worker TJ Taylor. 21 year old Trent Taylor Jr. was fatally shot during this tense altercation at the clinic on Mother's Day. A few days after the shooting, Shively police finished their investigation with no arrests, saying the incident could be self defense. Now more than a month, the grand jury decision. Video and witness interviews showing that Taylor was the initial aggressor. WHS 1119's Connor Steffen and photojournalist Ian Hardwit have that video we obtained from Shively police and shows us how the families responded. You're looking at the surveillance video shown to a Jefferson County grand jury Wednesday, leading them to not charge the shooter who killed Shively Animal Clinic employee TJ Taylor. So it's horrible. It's been a, a what five week nightmare. The Commonwealth's Attorney's Office said evidence points to Taylor being the initial aggressor. Trent Taylor Sr. says that's not who his son was. I know he wasn't the aggressor. He was trying to protect everybody. They, all they were trying to do is get this woman to leave. We're about to walk you through what happened that night the best we can at the Shively Animal Clinic. From start to finish, it's a total of 13 minutes. On this Sunday evening, May 14th at 614, a group of women walk into the clinic and up to the counter. Pay attention to the woman in orange and the woman in white. After checking in at the desk, they wait for nine minutes before the woman in orange, it appears, decides to head on back to confront employees, which you'll see here on another camera. You then see the woman engaging with this employee in blue. That's TJ Taylor's stepmother. Things are diffused for a moment until 626. You'll see TJ Taylor there in the black cutoff next to his stepmother. Pay attention to what he does next. We'll play that back for you. You see Taylor strike the woman from behind before running outside. Seconds later, watch the green handbag the woman is holding. As she rummages through it, TJ comes back inside, swiping at the bag. The woman then pulls a gun from it. Here's a closer look at that. The woman in orange then steps outside along with her partner in white as Taylor throws a traffic cone at them. The next few seconds aren't too clear. From this angle, though, you can see Taylor and the woman in white pushed up against one another. Ten seconds later, Taylor is shot. That shooting took place right here outside the front exit door of the Shively Animal Clinic. From our understanding, no outside cameras capture the confrontation. It doesn't depict everything, but it depicts some of it. The Taylor family's attorney, David Maurer, believes there's more to what happened than what's captured on tape. These ladies came in hot. It resulted in being mad over the way your dog was treated or the way you were billed or whatever the issue is with the vet clinic. Somebody's dead. Over a dog. That's why my son. That's why my son's dead right now. Over a dog. Saying this video, which convinced grand jurors, is not proof enough for them. Maurer says the Taylor family plans to file a civil suit against the woman who shot TJ. We are not naming her since she is not charged. So see you at the finish line. In Louisville, Connor Steffen, the WHAS 11 night team on your side. Now the Taylor family attorney whom you saw there, David Maurer, says he plans on pursuing other legal avenues to seek justice for the family. That includes filing a civil lawsuit against the shooter. And coming up on Monday next week, the family plans to hold a rally at Jefferson Square Park downtown. Justice for TJ will start at 11 a.m.